In this brief low-code feature focus video, we'll talk about action grid and CSS formatting. If you have a grid and you want to add CSS formatting to it, you can manage the grid. And so I'm going to open that in a new tab. And if you open this section and go to the root CSS classes section, you can say, uh, you can add a, a new class. And so I'm going to say my users, it doesn't matter what you call it, and we'll save that choice. Now, when we go back and refresh the grid, my users as a class exists on this grid. Um, in Chrome, you can right click and inspect and dynamically interact uh, with the CSS. And um, as a result, you can change the, the formatting of the content. So for example, if I wanted to change the header color from blue to red, and this is a little bit of hit and miss, but interactively we can determine what the correct CSS is. And then once we uh, arrive at that, we can copy it into the CSS. So first, focus in on the, on the element that you want to change. And so I'm using this tool to select the element that I want to change. And it's bringing us right to that part of the the HTML, if we say that we want to do a new style rule, it defaults to giving us the style that's uh, in progress. So we can add our class dot my users in front of that and then add a new feature. For example, color red. We'll color all of those red at the same time. Um, in the same way, we can make other changes. Um, if we wanted the size of these to be larger, for example, we could do font size and pick large or larger or small. So let's say we wanted a large. That interactive work using the browser to determine what the right content is, is uh, a little, you'll have to understand some about CSS, but uh, again, the, the idea is you point to the element that you want to change, you add a class and you start adding content. And if you read up on CSS and, and how those classes work, you'll understand more about how to uh, construct that. But once you have impact that you want to make, you can copy it. So I've highlighted and copied this text. I'm gonna close out and go to my uh, custom CSS section of the website. And I'm going to add those to the bottom of my CSS files and save the style sheet so that now when I hold shift and refresh the page. And I have to hold shift because it's, re it's forcing the browser to reread the CSS class. Now that, cla now that CSS is part of my website and it applies the CSS to my grid. So that's a very brief introduction to CSS formatting on an action grid. We thank you for tuning into this low code feature focus. If there's other videos that you would like to see us present, please add those to the comments below. And for more great low-code content, be sure to subscribe to Plantonet.